Oh my gosh, his head's moving. I didn't notice this, his head moves. Please, sir, I want another West End run. Who is this random pig who is clearly a random pig? Oh my God, hey. Hello. Hello, we have just arrived at Custom House um, en route to the XL, mm -hmm. where Musical Gone 2020, I panicked, I was gonna say five. 2024, that's the year we're currently in. Musical Con 2024, the third year of Musical Con? Yeah. Yes, um, is about to start. How exciting. It takes place over two days in October, as it has done the past couple of years. We're back for year three. I have vlogged previous years. This year I'm only doing today, the Saturday. Aaron is gonna be here on both days, creating a bunch of content uh, for his TikTok. So if you want to see what happens on day two, after you've watched this vlog, you can go and check that out on Mr. Aaron James UK's TikTok. But for now, we're gonna head in, we're going to queue, which is the British thing to do. Uh, and then we're gonna enjoy day one of Musical Con. Yay! We are entering the XL, which is a big old convention center with multiple spaces. And as you can see up there, Musical Con, just one of the events happening today. So not everyone here at the XL today is here for the musical theatre fandom, but several are. Already brushed shoulders with several musical theatre fans, identifiable by their merchandise and the cosplay. I have already seen two Heathers, a Six Queen and a Beetlejuice, and the morning is still young. We have reached the queuing area. We have shown our QR codes for our tickets. We have done bag check. We have picked up these little complimentary show guides that I'll show you more of in just a moment. Um, but we are queuing to go over there. There was just a warm-up by Broadway Boogie, and I think now we might be getting uh, a choir moment, perhaps? Hard to say. Thereafter, we will be heading through that gap there into the main area. Slightly different configuration this year because the studios where you can do um, dance and like acting through song workshops, etc., are out here. The Larson Studio and the Sondheim Studio, they are the two uh, black curtained off areas that you are seeing out in this part and hopefully all those big dividing walls will make sound pollution less of a problem. That's a, a challenge they have been progressively dealing with over the past few years since the birth of Musical Con. Here, for those of you who need it or are simply interested, is the accessibility information, uh, including access queuing, access areas, a quiet zone, a sensory friendly quiet zone, wheelchair access, BSL interpretation, accessible toilets, guide and assistance dogs, and audio description and closed captioning. Although, having said that, I should highlight that the audio description and closed captioning information is there is no audio description and closed captioning. And this is what is happening today. There's an opening ceremony starting at 10.15 on the main stage, followed by show spotlights for Hadestown and Les Miserables. Uh, a show preview for Fly More Than You Fall, which recently started previews at the Southwark Playhouse. Uh, a performance showcased by Bird College, the star of Musical Con competition, which is always uh, full of exciting talent. Uh, a performance showcase for Kappa College, an artist spotlight for Andre De Shields. Yes, Andre De Shields of Hadestown, of The Wiz, of a legendary stage career, will be here this year. Uh, more show pre uh, spotlights and previews for Oliver and Figaro, Little Piece of You, and then the game show. Show off. I love the game show. I love any kind of a game show, which is why I'm very excited uh, that I'm going to be on a panel this year. Woohoo! My first ever musical con panel appearance, and it's going to be at 11.30, that second one there. Reviewers versus fans. Ooh, I am very competitive, I should warn you. Uh, before that, the fan panel for Ex-Wives, of course, Six the Musical. Then a Road to Musical Con interview, all about uh, bringing Musical Con, I was going to say to the stage, but to the convention center. Designing a musical with Les Brotherston, OBE, theatrical legend. Uh, the Shall We Dance choreography on the West End panel. Uh, the Wigs, Hair and Makeup demonstration, always a good time. Show business, how to start a stagey business, very interesting, increasingly relevant. And then Super Women, female empowerment on the West End. Finally, in the fan zone, we have meetups for solo and first-time attendees. I love that they do that. That's very cute. Uh, Hadestown fans, Les Mis fans, Six fans, bracelet trading. Thank you, Taylor Swift. And Hamill fans, a Hamilton meetup. Lots going on in this first day. So, obviously, I'm going to be on the panel at 11.30. I'm also intrigued by the wigs, hair, and makeup demonstration. Um, I'm also... I do love the Star of Musical Con competition you know there's lots I want to support there's lots I want to go to um, I'm gonna miss the Les Mis show spotlight because I'm gonna be on a panel uh, but uh, yeah lots to enjoy lots to enjoy today this is our map of the event uh, so kind of corresponds to that 
basically. We're going to go in, and then this area here, that's the backstage theatre section where the panel conversations are going to be. The fan zone is just over there. Uh, but all these other booths are exhibitors, um, as well as uh, little stagey small businesses. And then you have the main stage over there. Okay, the sound, she is not carrying all the way over here. But they are currently dreaming a dream over there. There are dreams that cannot be. That's where we are. Sounds lovely, very ethereal. As though I'm waiting at the gates of heaven for the sweet embrace of death. Hopefully the, the queue starts moving soon. Okay, in fact, I love this choir uh, because they are doing the medley from Eurovision, the fire saga film. Waterloo, promise to love you forever. I promise that's what this is. Comes up. Now it's the Celine song from Eurovision. I think this is working. It is! It is! The microphone's working, everyone. Yay! Fire Saga! Day's going well. It's Coral Hades Town, if you can hear that. Now. For everyone's uh, YI, the queue was here uh, to some extent before we arrived at about 9.25. People do begin queuing early, as you might expect. The queuing area officially opens um, from 9 a.m., I think, or is it earlier? What time did the queue open this morning? No, 8.40, fine, I lied. Um, but in about five minutes' time, they're gonna start letting people in. Um, unless you're trying to get to the front of the performance area, I don't think there's much of a need to be at the front of the queue, honestly, um, and everything Hopefully rotates a decent amount throughout the day. It's a long old day at Musical Con, so, you know, don't make it longer than you need to, is my advice. Someone has made their own, I love cosplayers, someone has made their own version of Romeo's jacket from Anne Juliet, which happens to be one of my favorite uh, pieces of costume from the last few years of musical theater. It looks so good, oh my gosh. The queue has just shuffled up, and Sinead Holmes, Co-founder, co-creator of Musical Con, Con Mother, as I will dub her, is, is speaking to the collective people who are very excited to be here. I can't hear what she's saying, I don't know if you can. Woo! I cheer when they cheer. It's a call and response. Oh, it's frozen, we could do this one. Open up the gates. I'm harmonizing a little bit. They're doing, they're opening up the gates, everybody. We're heading in, it's happening. People are running. Don't run, everyone. Everyone be responsible in this space. We're about to get our first look at musical con, though. How exciting. I spoke prematurely, hold on. There you go. We are entering theater land, which is um, the name given to this little space here with all of the exhibitors and stalls, little musical marketplace, if you will. Seeing Musicals Magazine here on the right. The Playhouse Art House, some familiar from previous years. Theatre and Threads are back, yay! Some familiar, some new, I think. Theatre Gifts over here. Ooh, some things I will be coming back to browse. Look, there's an elephant. I have just taken two photos with people to who came and said hello. And speaking of photo opportunities, uh, in the middle here, there is a big Cameron Macintosh, a Sir Cameron Macintosh section with photo opportunities. And on the other side, uh, we have one similarly for six. And why am I so single? We'll investigate these later. We will take the photos. We will take the photos. You know we will. Um, but yes, that's what the, the elephant is about. Love that. What a diva. The stage door signing section is over there, but we are sort of approaching the main stage where there is going to be an opening ceremony. I've lost Aaron entirely and completely. Ooh, chicken and fries. Later. Later, not now. We are here at the main stage area, waiting for the opening ceremony to begin. People are gonna sing some songs. That's usually how this goes down. I am already, I shan't lie to you, I am already glancing sideways just at some of the food options for later in the day. Chicken and fries, Baked Bird is speaking to me on a deeply personal level.
What's wrong with being, what's wrong with being confident? Musical Chord 2024. be a bit quieter currently. Oh, someone's doing autographs over here. Is that Hannah Lowther? Someone with very straight blonde hair, whoever it is. Still vibing. These eyes will not be blinded by Where am I going? It was Hannah Lowther. I don't know if you can see her. She's over there. Truthfully, I don't know what's happening next on the main stage. I may miss some kind of introductory speech, but oh, this is where the panels are happening. Oh, it's a busy for the first panel. Look at this. This is for the the six, the, the ex-wives panel, I believe. Big turnout. We've got the Cameron Macintosh area with all sorts going on. That's really, really something this year. Wow, we have costumes, we have set pieces. This is from Mary Poppins that you're seeing the back of here. We have a little uh, Angeloid Webber section over there and we have Amelia Stitches. Let's go check out what's going on here with Amelia Stitches. So Amelia, my good friend Amelia, makes these incredible embroidery kits. Look at these three-dimensional six queens. They've got hair and everything. Uh, her brand new product for the weekend is this super cute tote bag. See if you can name some of the shows that that is referencing there. I see uh, Come From Away, I think. I see Moulin Rouge. I see a red shoe, which could be anything. And so many other different kind of designs as well. We have a whole Taylor Swift section here with different eras. We have a bunch of quotes from your favorite shows. It's all very aesthetic. Uh, and it's a, it's a great gift because it's a craft project and a decoration all in one. Shanae is just introducing the weekend on the main stage, talking about the happenings and the goings on. Much to look forward to this weekend at Musical Con. We're gonna come back to this later and take some photos, but look at the Hercules booth here. We have lighting, we have set. This is among the coolest things I've ever seen. I've seen this show in two different countries already. I haven't seen anything like this so far. That's very cool. They're doing a Defying Gravity sing-along to establish that this is in fact a group of musical theatre super fans. You wanna really prove something? Let's go niche. I'm just saying. This is about to be a film. The sixth panel is starting. It's Andrew Tomlins. This is the kind of cosplay I like to see. Operation Mincemeat. Cute and very well done. We love to see it. <gasps> Someone's dressed for Starlight Express. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Amazing Starlight Express cosplay. For those of you who have not yet seen the new production, these are the brand new costumes. They're going to see the show later. The dedication people. Over here at the Playhouse Art House booth, we have digital artwork, theater prints, and gifts. And I'm gonna show you some of them. We have prints of many of your favorite theater frontages. There's a 2025 calendar. Oh, some of these are gorgeous. They're also available in postcard size, which we love to see. Uh, and there's a full list of designs by theatre. We have some Broadway theatres on here as well. Don't think I haven't noticed the Hudson in there. Do you know what I love as well as the history? Six at the arts, six at the lyric, six at the vaudeville. Nice, very nice. Hades Town's performing on the main stage. Their new Eurydice and Orpheus who recently took over in the principal roles. I know for a fact Darren James is filming at the front. Go and check out this performance on his TikTok, because I have other places to be. Specifically, I have a panel to go and be on. I am on a panel at 11.30, it is now 11.12. So we're gonna go and be on that panel. That is where we're going. They're still talking about six, but I'm gonna go and wait in the wings. The pressure is enormous. First up, we have the incredible, internationally renowned blogger, it's me! Oh, it's me! Hey! <laughs> 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 We've done that to Cabaret at the Kids Club, November 2nd. Correct! 
Who is this random pig who is clearly a random pig in Nana? <laughs> This is the best thing that's happened. <laughs> Did he not know? <laughs> it's the best thing that's happened all day. I'm not going to tell you who it is. I'm going like, to let you figure it out. On Cosplay Watch, we have two Anastasias, multiple Anastasias, just like there are in Anastasia. Okay, we are now uh, trying to go get ourselves some lunch. Uh, the panel went well. I won. If and it, it, listen, it's not about the winning, it's about taking part. And the people who came up to play um, did a great job. And like, how cool and how brave uh, to come and do that on the main stage of uh, Musical Con. Uh, my life did flash before my eyes. And listen, I don't know, as we've established, I don't know other things about things. Um, I only know things about musical theatre. So in many ways, it was the competition I had been waiting my entire life for. And. I stepped up to the plate. <laughs> We've come back over to check out the Hercules area where you can already get merchandise. You can get tote bags and you can get these bottles branded with Hercules, the electrifying new musical. There you go, coming next summer to Theatre Royal Drury Lane in the West End. How exciting. You can also win tickets to see the show and we got badges. Thank you, Hercules. We'll go back at some point, um, potentially after we have secured food, to go and do the photo op. I want to get in on some of these photo ops. These are cool. This is what I come to Musical Con for, I'm telling you. You can also get official Musical Con merchandise. We have hats, we have t-shirts, um, we have badges, we have limited edition enamel pins. It usually does command a pretty decent queue all day, so you've got to really commit to it. There's, there's Aaron James, who also commands a queue for cuteness. I didn't even realise it was on me then. Continuing in our vendor showcase, we have Boalicious Bows, where we have all sorts of show-themed bows. I can see Six, I can see everybody talking about Jamie, I can see Hades Town. I love, I love the unexpected musicals that you find here, because like, you expect the aesthetic ones, and then you get a curveball like a Mrs. Doubtfire bow spotted down there. Hairspray, look at that pink and blue hairspray one. Let's pick our favorite here. There you go, we've got all sorts of six queen themed ones going on. I like the Delta New because that's subtle. I like that you gotta know, that's an if you know you know bow situation going on over there. This back's the future one with the flames. <gasps> Operation Mincemeat, truly catering for all the musical theater fans. Look at the Tina silhouette on the Tina one. Oh my gosh, look at the bring it on colors. Love these, I don't have enough hair to put bows in my hair, but I, I don't know, I feel compelled. Oh, there's croc charms as well. It's six of my friends <laughs> being, being six. We've come in search of um, backstage area food uh, with our access all ass, uh, asses, no. <laughs> Access all areas <laughs> press passes. Um, but we found this great overview of the convention floor. You can see, look, there you go. You can see the area here with all the different exhibitors. That's over where the panels are taking place. Uh, and then the main stage area over on the left with the main stage that makes it the main stage area. You get the idea. And then uh, some workshops happening back in the entranceway over there. And look, you can see the set piece from Mary Poppins and you can see the elephant from Phantom. We are back on the convention center floor. The star of musical con competition is happening on the main stage. So if you hear fantastic vocals, that is why. They always do a great job. Lots of talent in that competition. We have some brilliant Peter Hanna art here from the brilliant Peter Hanna, including uh, some late traditions here. Look, we've got three different shows from the Savoy Theater. Uh, four, in fact, with Pretty Woman down at the end there. Um, what it is is these gorgeous, gorgeous uh, prints of West End theatre frontages with your favourite shows there lit up in brilliant colour and some of them available with this gorgeous, is that gold leaf? Is that what you call gold leaf? Oh, I haven't seen this one before. Les Mis with a little French flag and foil there. Looking stunning. Very nice. Fun fact, Peter Hanna art prints are in both of my bathrooms. We have like seven of them, they're great. Few booths quite so aesthetic as Letters to July. We have prints, we have stickers, we have um, calendars, we have bookmarks, we have uh, all references to your favorite shows, we have coloring books, there you go. Lots of exciting things here in this trademark style 
from Letters to July. We have a stand for Musicals magazine. This is the October issue, recently swapped to monthly. You can see Tom Francis and Nicole Scherzinger. Uh, we've got features on the new non-replica UK tour of Jevon Hansen and the new West End production, Curious Case of Benjamin Button at the Ambassadors. And I am in this as well. Um, I wrote a review of the cast recording of The Great Gatsby on Broadway, so you can find that as well. I'm also in the next month's, so you should just go ahead and sign up for a subscription, which you can do right here at MusicalCon. Then to Sewing Patches here with Theatre and Threads, where we can see patches from all your favourite shows. Uh, let's see what we've got here. That's a Mean Girls reference. Bit of Charlie the Chocolate Factory. I love that Nicest Kids in Town one from Hairspray. That might be my favourite. Um, and we've got a musical con specific one there, a place where we belong. Very cute, very aesthetic. I am wearing a denim jacket. Maybe I will cover it in patches. Who's to say? Who's to say? And some little embroidered little wallet purses there as well. It is time for us to step into the world of Sir Cameron Mackintosh with many of his shows, including these costumes of Mary and Bert from Mary Poppins soon to embark on a major UK tour. One of my favorites, a lovely show. I love getting to see any theatrical costumes close up because you can see the detail. For example, you don't think of this as being a shiny costume, it's just Bert's chimney sweep costume, but it does have tiny little diamantes on it. Sorry, they've just announced the winner of the Star of Musical Con. We can't see it on account of this elephant, but thrilled for them. Good job to you, they all sounded amazing. More Mary Poppins stuff here. We've got uh, the little model box contents there. We've got an umbrella. We've got Willoughby and then Green Willoughby. Prop dogs, puppet dogs, used in Mary Poppins. This is the elephant from the Phantom of the Opera for the Hannibal sequence at the beginning, and this is this is his insides. Goodness gracious. Over here on the wig stand, we have uh, many of the wigs of Les Mis. Got a nice little Madame Thenardier there. Uh, this is what I thought was a Madame Thenardier. That's actually Mrs. Corrie from Mary Poppins. Remember her name, she's gonna get mentioned again in just a moment. There's Mary's wig there. Uh, got a nice little Jean Valjean over here. Some Hamilton wigs as well. That's a swing ensemble wig. Oh, that's King George's wig. And then King George's crown just over there. They're never far apart. And another Hamilton wig down here. And under the table, Aaron just pointed this out to me and I gasped. It is Betty, the pig from Betty Blue Eyes, who because of all of the hair on her, is apparently, uh, has historically been taken care of by the wigs department rather than props. Fun fact for you all. Betty Blue Eyes being one of many shows produced by Sir Cameron Mackintosh, as well as uh, the more well-known Les Mis, Mary Poppins, more recently Stephen Sondheim's Old Friends, uh, but others as you can see here, uh, of course Cats and Phantom, but also Hair, the Oliver Revival, half a sixpence, the upcoming Oliver Revival as well, we should note, which is also featured right at the top there. Little Shop of Horrors, many, many more. Speaking of Mrs. Curry, whose wig we just saw, this is her shop. This is Mrs. Curry's, I don't remember, what's the actual name of the shop, Erin, do you remember? No, it's her sweet shop, I can't think of it, I think it was just... Is it like, a, is it a conversation shop, talking shop? Yeah. Talking shop. Yeah. They sell conversations. It's a talking shop. There you go. Uh, this is where the number Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious is performed in the stage version of the show. Yes, that was impressive. Thank you so much. Um, and Aaron's going to take a photo in it because he's a big Mary Poppins fan. It was the first show he ever saw in the West End. Yeah. We've got a scale model of the Phantom of the Opera set at His Majesty's Theatre in 2021, including little audience members. I've been one of those. Yes, I have. Have you? Have you? I also, I assume this is a bit of a bit of Les Mis. This feels like a bit of Les Mis set, I think. More model boxes. We have uh, Les Mis, the staged concert at the Gielgud Theatre in 2019. Um, we've got a Hamilton white card model here at the Victoria Palace Theatre, where you can see the intricacies of that set design and the multiple different revolves. Uh, but you can also see it from the side up into, like, how it all works and the fly tower and everything. That's very cool. More costumes up close here with some pieces from Hamilton. This of course being Peggy Schuyler and Mariah Reynolds over there. And I think it's that Eliza dress in the middle for the second act. They have coloring in the middle here with felt tips, crayons and colored pencils. I would turn this person into a cat myself from the musical Cats. 
I have seen someone in Cat's Cosplay State. Oh, Oliver, hello. Please, sir, I want another West End run. Uh, I have seen someone in Cat's cosplay today. I'm about to walk past the Phantom of the Opera. What I love about seeing cosplayers in the wild is you get to see the characters just like at rest, chilling, and it was a cat that had already had a lot of musical con fun just sitting against a wall and relaxing. So you want to to me, the wizard? You made your Broadway debut in 1969 in the musical Hair. Hair, there you go. When the moon is in the seventh house and Jupiter aligns with Mars and the peace will gather planets. So a few people come, the word of mouth was good. That's the best promotional uh, tool when someone says, brother, sister, you have got to see this. Absolutely. So the audiences came. A year later, we won seven Tonys. And yes, one of the best. best musical. And then that became the film with Diana Ross and Michael Jackson. Yes. And then it became a TV show and the Wiz was played by Queen Latifah. Andre De Shields continues to dispense wisdom, sage, sage words from an illustrious career on the main stage of Musical Con. A great booking for Musical Con. Like Andre De Shields is here talking about his career. That's amazing. I think I've shown you this already, but I can't get enough of it. This is the elephant from Phantom, from the Hannibal scene at the beginning of the show, but from the front. Oh my gosh, his head's moving. Notice this, his head moves. Wow! And this similarly iconic is Willoughby. The green Willoughby from Mary Poppins. Here at Musical Theatre Pins, unsurprisingly, you can find all sorts of musical theatre pins. Again, from all of your favourite shows. We have Anne Juliet, we have Beetlejuice, we have Aladdin, we have Cabaret, we have Be More Chill, we have Chicago. Um, and as cute as like the show logo ones that they sell at official merchandise are, I love these like inspired by show ones. Look at that Just Breathe in the Heights one, looking out through a window over Manhattan. That's cool. That's a great idea. The We're What Killed the Dinosaurs there, paying homage to a lyric from Heathers. Connor Finish the Milk from Dear Evan Hansen. These are so, so clever. I could spend an hour here picking out all of the references. Um, I love, oh, I love the Operation Mints Me one down there that says, at least it's not a bloody musical. Deep cuts, deep cuts from the show. Surround yourself with people whose eyes light up when they see you coming. I've heard people try to quote that and say, when they see you come into the room. When you come into the room, that's too late. <laughs> Everybody's in the room. The top of one mountain is the bottom of the next. So keep climbing. to the Feel Good in December. And we're very excited, yes. We're very excited to be hosting a little panel of lots of very important people who've made Oliver the success it is in Chichester. Can you see me? It's giving Chichester this. 
I'm going to have to do a lot of acting to the VIP guests. Hi, I'm Sinead Holmes and I play Nancy! Uh, hello, my name's Simon Lipkin and I play Fagin. I am Aaron Sidwell and I play Bill Sykes. <laughs> He loves it oh, when you yeah, boo him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please boo me. It's Just lovely. like the curtain call. Oh, bless. Oh, sorry, I'm Les. I'm the designer, set and costume designer. Set and costume designer, Les Brotherston, OBE. When Oliver first opened, it changed the way that musical theatre was presented across it the world. Did. Sean Kenny's design kind of revolutionised theatre and made the moving set, really. It was the first time it was ever automated. First time, I was like, yeah, that's right. So it was the first time that people saw the scenery change before their eyes. So, um, how much of your design is a callback to Sean Kenny's original production? Well, what we've tried to do is when we, Cameron's last two productions, particularly the, the, the Drury Lane production, really tried to put the film on stage. It made it super real, really, really big. And what we tried to do is kind of rein it back a bit, go back to the original, look at the look at the, the staging of it, try and make it more actor based rather than set based. There's a lot of sets, there's a lot of epic stuff. But but it's all sort of actor-led. Were you influenced by previous interpretations? And if so, how does your Fagin differ? How did you make it your own? Yes, yeah, so, uh, I think there's a couple of things to acknowledge. A, like, Ron Moody created the Fagin in the musical version that we all love, right? So I think that... Um, it would be silly not to at least look at that and kind of take inspiration from it, but at the same time, really just try and figure out what your version is. And then the other flip side to that thing is, a lot of the actors who have ever played Fagin are not Jewish, and inherently the character in the book and all of that sort of stuff is a little bit anti-Semitic. So it's about reclaiming that Jewish heritage and that Jewish authenticity and celebrating that part of him rather than being like, funny, the Jew is counting his money. So like that, celebrating that, and Cameron and Les especially, we've done some beautiful things with a costume that no one will ever really notice, but like I wear a yarmulke uh, instead of a big old hat, and that has my he my Hebrew name um, embroidered inside of it. And there's little things like that that just kind of make you live in him in a, in a different way. Favourite costume? The red dress! Oh, my incredible jacket that you've made for me. Uh, Josh's Renovo. <laughs> yes, that's beautiful. Why should people come and see our production of Oliver? It's fantastic. It will help me pay for my wedding. No, no. Those who yeah. didn't know, ladies and gentlemen, and those in between. Yeah. Simon's engaged! <laughs> who to, Simon? Regina George. Her name is Regina George. Vegan and Regina George. Yeah. Who Fe saw that company? Vegina. Vegina. Hashtag okay. move away quickly. Move away quickly. <laughs> They're now doing an Oliver quiz on the main stage, which I'm very sad to be missing because I love a quiz and I love Oscar Conlon Murray. However, I am heading over, I'm dashing over to the next panel discussion, which is from stagey small business owners who we love to support and many of whom are our friends. So we're going to go and check that out. Although it's oh, it's very busy here. In fact, it is busy because they are just finishing up a makeup demonstration panel over at the panel area. I can't quite see the makeup look closely enough and I missed the start so I don't know what they're doing. Last year it was Beetlejuice. And I am going to ask a kind of questions for these incredible businesses. Okay, so I sell embroidery kits and pieces and patterns inspired by different musicals. I mostly make musical theatre themed scrunchies but I also do Posters, water bottles, key rings, stickers, necklaces, the list is ever growing of what I create. So I um, do digital drawings of theatres all around town and regionally um, and sell them in a variety of sizes and now we're printing them on tote bags and, and calendars and things like that. I am the home of staging patches, um, so I've got all my designs on my shirts. Uh, I've also got some tote bags, key rings. Yeah, as Becky said, like it's ever growing what uh, we're all creating, I think. Musical Lid Pin sells musical lid inspired enamel pins. Uh, I'm the world's leading uh, manufacturer of them. And uh, they're the if you know, you know type pins, which are like 
yes, I know this show. It's not just the logo. A musical theatre market is the UK's first ever craft market specifically for musical theatre. It's on the 9th of November at the Custard Factory in Birmingham. So yeah. come along. At Raybox, we empower voices. So we have a range of vocal development tools to assist professional voices in their function and our vocality has also just won a great taste award which is really exciting. Be individual, it lean into the thing that you love and even if you think it's daft or it's nerdy or no one else will get it, if you get it, other people will too and just lean into how you know weird or quirky or nerdy you think you are because that's when the really good stuff comes out, just go for it. I would say have a passion for yourself. Whatever it is you're doing, you're going to spend hours creating products. Whether it's designing and getting money for it elsewhere, whether you're hand making everything yourself, you are going to spend hours doing that. On top of the fact that you are either a student, have another full-time job, have a part-time job, it's like, or get lucky enough that this does become your full-time job. It's like, you are going to spend hours on this, and you want to be enjoying it. You don't want it to become a chore, because then it won't be enjoyable anymore. So yeah, enjoy what it is you're doing, because you're going to be doing it for a long time. Oh my god, hey! I'm currently listening to Sunset Boulevard at the Angelo Weber booth. You can pre-order it now. This one's Starlight Express. You can also pre-order that. Ellie Talks Theatre and I just had photos taken together at an Angelo Weber photo booth. Miracles can happen. Uh, this is all to celebrate the Box 5 Club, which is the new Angelo Weber fan club. There you go. Here at the Concord Theatricals booth, who specialize in theatrical licensing, you can get exclusive prices on scripts, CDs, and vocal selections. I See You, Here We Are by Stephen Joshua Sondheim, coming to London at the National Theatre. Yes, I See You. They are playing a quiz on the main stage. It's Name That Tune. We're going to join in from afar. Can I play two? You can. And you're rocking the boat. Oh, we were both horrible. <laughs> horrible at that. Oh, God. I can't believe that took me so long. I've seen that three times. Oh, so what, what arrangement was that? Yeah. I don't even know. I don't recognize that one. We're going to blame the song. There we go. And that brings us to the end of Musical Con 2020. Once again, I, it's been a long day. Once again, I forgot the year. 2024. 2024. Year three. I did some last minute shopping at the end. Um, and maybe I'll do a haul. I'll show you. Uh, what we picked up when I don't think I have nearly as much stuff as I've had in previous years um, but I'll show you what we did come away with uh, when we get back uh, and maybe everyone else will as well um, Aaron is coming back tomorrow he's going to be sharing uh, more performance content uh, than I am uh, so you can see more of that over on his TikTok at Aaron James UK but for now thank you XL thank you Musical Con thank you tiny people in my camera stay tuned for for Epilogue. Musical Con Hall, Musical Con Hall. Erin, what did you get? I got this cool pin from Letters to July, which is a Two Strangers pin. It is very cool. And I got the limited edition Musical Con pin because Ooh. I didn't get one last time, I don't think, so I was like, it needs to happen. Oh, and fun, this was designed by Musical Theatre Pins. Ah! So I bought the limited edition of Hercules bottle. Hercules! Because, yes, we are Disney fans, yes, we're really excited, and also... We, we collect merch from across all the different productions. We have the New Jersey cap, we have um, hoodies, etc. from the German production, and then we have a water bottle already from the new West End production. Does that mean you won't get any merch when it no, opens in the West End? <laughs> so much merch. Ellie, what did you get today at Musical oh, Con? Okay, I'll start with the wrist. I have this little cube. It's upside down for some reason. I'm great at putting things on. Uh, it's a Beetlejuice little thing, unpictured, because apparently I don't have it on me. It's probably still in the living room. Uh, is a Come From Away one. Because last year I was handed one of these, a Come From Away one. And during filming of my Musicom recap, uh, I put it on, it exploded. Oh, so no. somebody very kindly made me a new one that was slightly bigger, which is adorable. And thank you so much. Hey. Uh, I also... Got a lovely Two Strangers Letters to July pin. I was going to get the mincemeat one. You convinced me. The significance of this pin is what, though? It's be happy. Okay, but also they didn't have pins during the West End. Oh, I'll take that over. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, they didn't have a pin for Two Strangers when it was in the West End, so I needed to get I'm this. not editing out you not knowing <laughs> <that>. <laughs> Badges. 
I picked, we were allowed to pick two. So I picked Jesus Christ Superstar and Sunset Boulevard, Sunny Boobs. Sunset Boulevard. Oh, I did. I don't have it. I also ah, got the Hercules one. Perfect. So I can... Who put the Glad in Gladiator? This okay. pin, oh, this please. button badge. I also got um, this little thing for Hercules that I think I showed you at the time. Uh, so you can enter to maybe win tickets. How exciting. Uh, I also have this lovely print. Uh, I forgot the name of the business who does these ones. Is it... Playhouse? Is that Playhouse Art House? Yeah, this is Playhouse Art House. Yeah. Uh, my sister-in-law got me a bunch of these ones. Oh. Uh, but I wanted to add Come From Away to my collection, as it is my favourite musical. <gasps> Amelia Stitches. Amelia Stitches Kit. Kit. This is uh, Amelie, because one of my favourite musicals of all time is Amelie. I might be a dreamer, no... but it's gotten me this far. There's no there's no merch for it. and like, nothing nothing anymore. I've only got my, like, hoodie and everything. The greatest thing that I got at MusicCon on the first Are day... Are we doing the bears? Yes, is I got handed multiple packets of sour gummy bears. I, f- I feel you, like this is off topic. If you know me, I have been raving about these. I went to Germany in 2019 and I, w- I tried these. I was like, this is the greatest thing I've ever had. And they don't do them here. Uh, Lydia went to the States. I had to beg my friend, theatrical Lydia, uh, to buy me some. Uh, and now a music con, somebody handed me like an entire bag full of them. And this is the greatest thing. I've been snacking on these all night. They are quite good. They I are very you. Good. They you. are quite nice. <laughs> okay, my turn now. Hello, everybody. Um, I wasn't buying anything until our friend Dylan pointed out to me that Acting for Others was selling. They had the last few available signed old friends posters, signed by Bernadette Peters and Leia Salonga. I mean, come on now. It was 60 quid, but it was 60 quid for charity. Um, and the recipient of that charity is me because I get a signed poster by Bernadette Peters and Leia Salonga. So, you know, we cannot say no to this. Uh, I also got handed a bunch of very cute friendship bracelets, which is always incredibly sweet. Uh, this one is a nice pastel musical con one, so I will always remember where I got it. This one I think is really cool because it's like double layered like Ellie's Beetlejuice one was. Uh, And it says, one more day to revolution. There you go, there you go, there you go. Uh, Les Mis, one of my favorite musicals of all time. And this one uh, was handed to me specifically because it has my name on it. It says Mickey Joe Theater. Someone did this last year as well. This is the sweetest thing. Um, And yeah, incredibly profoundly moved by this. Maybe I'll wear it tomorrow at my live show. That would be cute, wouldn't it? Also, on the subject of jewellery, right towards the end, I suddenly saw these cute little earrings. And I was like, I have pierced ears uh, now. I can buy earrings. And they're little Sweeney Todd 2005 Broadway Revival playbills uh, turned into earrings. A little bit of John Doyle actor musician revival hanging off my ears. That's my vibe. That's my vibe very much. Um, I also realised I have an incomplete feature wall that I want to progress. And I want more things on it that aren't just posters and photos. Uh, Like I want it to have like different kinds of textures. And these I thought were perfect. Look at this. This is beads. Beads. This one is Miss Saigon. I picked this one because I love, this is some of my favourite show artwork of all time. Because it's so clever because it's both a helicopter and a face. The beads version makes that harder to see, I grant you. But if you go look at the original, it makes sense. And then also Come From Away because I thought they paired together quite nicely. And who doesn't love a bit of Come From Away? And it's currently not represented on the feature wall. Um, And then finally, we did a bunch of uh, these photo booths that I don't think I necessarily vlogged, but we got these cute little immediate printout photos uh, of us doing photo booths. Look at that. Friendship and joy and community. And that is really what we all took away today from Musical Con. And also the Sour Gummy Bears. Also also the Gummy Bears. Anyway, I've had a great day. Um, I'm, I'm not mad at not doing tomorrow. There are things I will miss tomorrow. I'm sad not to be seeing, uh, my pals in title of show. Sad not to be seeing the Cruel Intentions reunion or finding out what the secret show is. Um, and yeah, a handful of other exciting performances and things that will be happening tomorrow. Uh, but these two are going to be there making content about it, having a lot of fun. You'll be able to see Ellie's recap over on her channel, possibly already by the time I'm loading this. Uh, And you can go see Aaron's full coverage over on his TikTok at Aaron James UK 
on the TikTok. In the meantime, that has been my Musical Con 2024 vlog. Expect to see me there again next year for 2025, assuming it's happening and assuming that I'm happening. Um, in the meantime, I hope that you had a great time. If you were at Musical Con, comment down below with all of your thoughts and feelings. Let us know what your favourite part was, what you bought, uh, what you got up to. Tell us everything. If you, if you saw me there and said hello, tell me, because it was lovely to meet so many people today. Uh, that was probably my favourite part. Um, but I hope that everyone is staying safe. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I hope that you have a stagey day. Bye-bye. For ten more seconds, I'm Mickey Joe Theatre. Oh my god, hey. Thanks for watching. Have a stagey day. Subscribe! <laughs>